Hello, I'm Neil Malarkey, and I'm one of the Comedy Store players. We do improvised theatre. We ask the audience for suggestions, we make up theatre there and then. But for the last 20 years or so, I've been teaching, talking, and writing about creativity, communication, collaboration. But there is something we can all learn from the improv mindset, that in improv, we always use what we're given. The audience gives us suggestions, we use the available resources. We don't complain about what we don't have. And I think in this current crisis, perhaps we can learn something from that. What can we learn? For example, it's been amusing to me to see some of my alpha male clients being at home rather longer than they're used to. They're learning quite a lot about parenting. Now, I've looked at relevant advice from all sorts of places. What can we do during this crisis, especially from a submariner? Imagine being locked up in a confined space with the same faces for weeks, months on end. What can we learn? So I've distilled all what I've read into three top tips. Tip number one, give yourself a routine. Not all day, every day, maybe a couple of milestones during the day. What time you get up, what time you go to bed, what time you have lunch, what time you have dinner, what time you go out, what time you do your exercise. It gives your brain chance just to relax, a little bit of certainty, one or two things to look forward to during the day. Tip number two, keep talking. Talk freely, talk widely to people, clients, colleagues, suppliers. And if you've got nothing else to offer them other than the listening ear, that's good enough. If you're a leader, make sure you listen and talk to your people. Make them feel appreciated. Make them understand they can talk to you whenever. And maybe there are some friends or colleagues you haven't seen for a while. Drop them a text, drop them an email just to say hello. It'll cheer them up, especially if you know they're on their own. Tip number three is give yourself some downtime, away from work, away from other people, and away from the news. The brain needs some quiet. It's been scientifically proven that silence helps our brain. Make sure you build in some silence to your day every day. There you go. Don't we feel better now? Hurrah. Anyway, another thing is uh, maybe get dressed up for dinner once a week. I'm off now to have some beans on toast.